Okay, in this video, we are going to go over how to add a new user to a SharePoint site. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to browse, open up Internet Explorer and browse to the site that you want to add a new user to. Um, at the top of the page, you're going to see a gear icon next to your name and a question mark. Uh, there's another gear icon that is up higher, closer to the uh, X to close the close the window, you do not want to choose that gear icon. This will take you uh, to your Internet Explorer settings. You want to go into the SharePoint site settings, which is next to your name in the question mark. So again, once you click on that, you'll be able to scroll down to site settings and select that. <clears throat> After you click on site settings, it'll open up the set, site settings uh, menu, at which point you'll see a, like a subheading that says users and permissions you are going to select site permissions from that submenu. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and start adding a new user to an actual SharePoint site. So first we're gonna start off on our West Region homepage. This is gonna be our example for the day. We're gonna find the gear icon next to my name. I'm gonna browse down to site settings and then under the users and permissions subheading, I'm going to select site permissions. <clears throat> now that I've selected site permissions, I can choose the group that I want to add my user to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the West Region members. I'm going to select new, add new user, and then I am going to start typing in the name of the user that I want to add. And it's going to provide you with a list of uh, people as, as you start typing in the name, uh, names that match. So <clears throat> typically it's going to show up with only a handful. Um, Randy being the top choice because he's been added to other sites within this site collection. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add. Uh, under the show options section, I'm going to go ahead and remove the checkbox that says send an email invitation just because this is a demo. Typically, I would leave that checked. Uh, that email invitation will provide the user a link in an email so that they know how to, act, how to get to the site that they've just been added to. Okay, so now that that's checked off, I'm going to go ahead and select share. And then it will show me that Randy has in fact been added to the SharePoint site. And it's that easy.